can I depend only on hiking fare and burden the public to mobilize these funds? This is unrealistic. Thus, I need to explore the alternative sources of resource mobilization. The first source is leveraging railway PSU resources. Madam Speaker, railway PSUs have done very well and are financially sound. I, I propose to bring investable surplus funds of railway PSUs in the infrastructure projects of railways which can generate attractive returns for PSUs. The second source is private investment in railway infrastructure, domestic as well as foreign it is domestic as well as foreign direct investment. The growth of railway sector depends heavily on availability of funds for investment in railway in infrastructure. Internal revenue resources and government funding are insufficient to meet the requirement. Hence, Ministry of Railways is seeking the cabinet approval to allow FDI in railway sector except, except railway operations. Except, except railway operations. The third source is public-private partnership. There, there has been a lot of talk about public-private partnership for raising resources. Railways being a capital incentive sector have not been successful so far in raising substantial resource through PPP route. Madam Speaker, it is my endeavor to pursue this in right earnestness. It is our target that bulk of our future projects will be financed through PPP mode, including the high-speed rail, which requires huge investments. To meet this end, I propose the following initiatives. Near plan holiday approach, prioritizing and setting timelines for completion of ongoing projects, devising a mechanism for raising funds for rail infrastructure, decision support system for project implementation, strategic partnership and transparency in procurements, aggressive indigenization of import, imported products, adopting safety standards, matching international practice, and setting up a simulation center to study cause of accidents, Encourage, encouraging development of wagon leasing market. Now, Madam Speaker, let me place before this August House the financial performance of 2013-14.